angular momentum of a projectile thrown from the ground. This is a projectile which will be thrown from the point O uh, and the projectile will describe this type of parabolic trajectory and it strikes the ground at the point B with the velocity V prime with the velocity V prime which will be equal to the velocity of projection U and uh, the projectile is thrown with the initial velocity U at an angle theta with the ground we can consider the two rectangular components of the initial velocity u. Uy is a vertical component and ux is a horizontal component of initial velocity u. When the projectile reaches at the point A, it will have a tendency to move along the tangent AX1 with the velocity v. And this perpendicular or normal A in on the ground is the maximum height h max attained by the projectile at o t is equal to 0 at n t is equal to capital t1 and at b time t equal to t1 plus t2 which is equal to capital t that is the time of flight we can denote maximum horizontal range as r the angular momentum now the angular momentum of the projectile thrown from the ground the angular momentum of the projectile of mass m thrown from the ground at the highest point at the highest point a is given by l equal capital l equal radius into or perpendicular distance into the linear momentum perpendicular distance into the linear momentum of the projectile linear momentum angular momentum l is a product of perpendicular distance and the linear momentum of the projectile at the highest point l is equal to perpendicular distance into the linear momentum now linear momentum p is equal to mv and angular momentum l equal to i omega where i is the moment of inertia and angular momentum vector L is uh, equal to vector R cross vector P. That's why L equal to uh, perpendicular distance into linear momentum of the projectile. Therefore, L will be equal to what? Now, linear momentum is uh, will be what at the highest point A? MU or MV? Which one is correct? Obviously, at the highest point, linear momentum, at the highest point A, the linear, uh, the projectile has a tendency to move with the velocity V. That's why at the highest point, linear momentum uh, will be MV, linear momentum uh, will be MV and the perpendicular distance from the highest point will be which one uh, will be what, H max or R? Uh, R? Which one is correct? It should be H max. Perpendicular distance will be H max and linear momentum. Uh, we know that angular momentum L is uh, equal to R into P. So here angular momentum L will be what? H max into MV. H max into MV. Uh, now in place of H max we can write U square sine square theta divided by 2G and M and V is the velocity at the highest point A. Now we can consider the vertical component of the final velocity v at the highest point a. Uh, that is the vertical component of v, uh, horizontal component of v is vx which will be v cos 0 degree which is equal to v equal to ux equal to u cos theta. We know that horizontal component remains constant that's why vx will be equal to ux. Therefore, L equal to u square sine square theta divided by 2g into m into ux. As horizontal component of velocity remains constant, what we can say that is uh, vx will be equal to ux. Uh, uh, horizontal component of velocity at A is equal to vx which will be equal to the horizontal component of velocity of projectile at the initial point O. Or comma L equal U square sine square theta divided by 2G into MU cos theta in place of uh, UX we can write U cos theta. 
Therefore, L equal m u to the power 3 sin square theta cos theta divided by 2g. L is equal to m u to the power 3 sin square theta cos theta divided by 2g, which is the angular momentum, which is the angular momentum of the projectile, angular momentum of the projectile at the highest point A of the parabolic trajectory of the projectile. L is equal to m u to the power 3 sin square theta cos theta divided by 2 g. At the highest point A, angular momentum L is equal to uh, h max into m v, which will be equal to m u to the power 3 sin square theta cos theta divided by 2 g. Therefore, angular momentum L is directly proportional to the third power of the initial velocity u of projection of the projectile that is L proportional to u to the power 3. Now according to according to right hand palm rule according to right hand palm rule or Maxwell Cox screw rule according to right hand palm rule or Maxwell Maxwell cork screw rule Maxwell cork screw rule comma According to right hand palm rule or Maxwell Cox screw rule, comma, in the diagram we can denote that angular momentum vector L, angular momentum of the projectile vector L acts outwards, vector L acts outwards with respect to the vertical parabolic trajectory of the projectile. Now, in the expression of vector L, in the expression of vector L, vector H max comes earlier, then uh, vector V comes later. So in the diagram, if we move our four fingers parallel to H max, then turn towards vector V, turn towards vector V. In that case, angular momentum vector vector L, L acts outwards. Vector, if we move our fingers parallel to H max, vector H max, then move turn towards vector v angular momentum vector vector l will be acting outwards with respect to the vertical plane in which vector h max vector v acts according to right hand palm rule or maxwell cox screw rule the angular momentum according to right hand palm rule or maxwell cox screw rule the angular momentum vector l of the projectile acts outwards the angular momentum vector l of the projectile at the highest point a acts outwards and perpendicularly to the vertical plane perpendicularly perpendicularly to the vertical plane that vertical plane is the parabolic trajectory in which Vector H max, that is the maximum height of the projectile and the velocity of the projectile, that is vector V, at the highest point exist. The angular momentum vector L acts outwards and perpendicularly to the vertical plane in which maximum height, that is vector H max and and the final velocity, final linear velocity that is vector v at the highest point, at the highest point A of the parabolic trajectory exist or act, exist or act. Angular momentum vector L acts outwards and perpendicularly to the vertical plane in which vector h max and vector v exist.